हेलो व्यूवर्स दिस इज साइनिंग इन उर्मेश पोती वाला फ्रॉम उर्मेश एजुवल डॉट कॉम एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अ वीडियो ऑन प्रोलॉग प्रोग्रामिंग स्पेशली फॉर द बिगनर्स नाउ टुडे आई हैव कम अप विद अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो दैट इज ऑन कट एंड फील प्रोडिकेट दीज आर वेरी स्पेशल प्रोडिकेट्स इन द प्रोलॉगिंग एंड बोथ आर द इनबिल्ट प्रोडिकेट्स सो लेट्स क्विकली गो थ्रू वन वन आफ्टर आन अदर सो फर्स्ट वील सी फेल प्रोडिकेट Now fail itself says it makes the whole statement to be fail. That means a false. So in the words I would say, fail predicate simply fails the rule. The fail forces the backtracking in an attempt to unify with another clause. Now fail will make the whole statement to be false, or you can say the rule to be false. So that's why it will help in using the another option, that is backtracking. the same clause so this is how it helps in unifying with the another clause so that is what a fail predicate it now i would say this fail predicate is been very helpful in recursion process and in most of the application but yes don't use it haphazardly so we see this in a code snippet so here i have written one code uh, in that there is a rule two rules are there with um, you know predicate is a x as an variable to be passed as an argument in it in the first in statement or in the, you can say the first rule ax now bx comma cx comma fail with a full stop that means these three are the different statements that is bx is an another statement cx is an another statement and fail is an another and all these three need to be true and as we have already know that fail itself makes the rules rule fail so that means when whether bx and cx both are true still it makes the whole statement fail as at the end we have written fail now the next of the rule is ax with the rule sign dx so we'll see that dx so here is in five facts and all they are in the database so it's always going to be true so let's say there is an query of ax so what the value ax as the value it is ask what the value should be for the x so let's go through with the backtracking and everything process one after the one of af one after the another so let's see ax in that ax first rule bx now bx can be x can be a one so for the same as one we have already there is in c1 b1 and c1 both are there for us so we can say both the one so we can have x as a one but at the next line there is a fail so that means this ax is to be false so the whole statement is false so there is an backtracking process so another there is an ax in which there is an dx with a full stop that means whatever the value of x is there for the d predicate that is the predicate uh, that is for the value for x for the predicate a so here there is only one value for the x that is 4 so we can have this query as ax to be value is equal to 4 so i can say that this is how the prologging happens in using a fail predicate simply let's start with a cut predicate now cut predicate is very important for the recursive process and all and it's having a symbol with an exclamatory one now cut predicate let's see this with the words itself cut predicates removes all the alternatives and it will forbid the value that otherwise would may uh, be returned by the means of x binding so that means cut predicate always succeeds fail predicate always fails and cut predicate is always going to be succeed that means here with the code snippet i will explain you cut predicate is to be prevent or block the backtracking based on the specific condition so before the cut sign or you can say this exclamatory one whatever the statements for which you are you know bounding the value that's always get bound with it you can never backtrack those values but after the cut predicate you can backtrack those values but before the cut predicate you can't do that so let's see with the code snippet here here ax with a there is a rule with a bx comma exclamatory one that is a cut predicate comma cx with a full stop same as the last previous example so here i will tell you that here the bx value so here we can say for the rule one 
x to be 1 as first value, first option for uh, you know, predicate b is 1 to make x as a 1. So, here we x, so we say x is equal to 1 for b. After that, there is a cut predicate. That means now the value of x cannot be changed as for b. That means for the predicate b, you it cannot be possible that the value of x to be changed. So, that means that makes to be completely bound and for bytes with the value. After that, there is a cut operation. Cut, that means you can't backtrack with the predicate b value. Then comes after cut, there is a c x. Now, for c, the f x is also a 1, that is also true. So, we can say here the the whole statement is always going to be true because cut predicates is always succeeds that means always true so this is how we can say that the value if i will say for the query ax if if the value of query ax is asked then you can say x is equal to 1 because b the value uh, with the predicate x is 1 and cx is 1 this is how the cut predicate works now i will click quickly make you understand what's the difference of using the cut and the fail predicate so the uh, for this i have written two examples so let's see the one first in this code snippet i have written bx then cut then cx then comma fail dx and all this same query will be asked for ax so let's understand this bx as i have stated in the last cut predicate bx here the value of x will be bound with the 1 not with 4 because 1 is the first option and now you can't backtrack with x is equal to 4 because after bx there is a cut predicate and cut predicate makes the value for predicate b to be bound and make it the x as in 1 only and you can't able to backtrack for this there is a next is cx and here the cx for x is equal to 1 there is and it is also true so all these three statements are true but after that the for a very next there is a fail predicate that makes the whole ax value they, that is fail so this ax first rule will be failed for the next ax that is for the next rule there is a dx full stop that means here you can see the value for this x will be come false why so because the cut here you feel like the x is equal to 4 but because of cut predicate the value of x is bound with the value 1 and here there is no d predicate having a value x to be true in the database so that's why this whole as because of cut predicate you can't change the value of x so you need it 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 means that the value should be x is equal to 1 otherwise this whole statement will be false so that's why this makes the statement false let's go through with the next code snippet for to make you clear understand of cut and fail so here is a code snippet bxcx fail and then cut predicate now again there is a question of what the value of ax is now bx and cx you can see here we can say same x is equal to 1 x is equal to for b is also c and also predicate then comes a fail that means whole statement becomes fail as this statement becomes fail you are now not been able to move to the cut because cut cut predicate is in the last and before that the fail predicate it makes the whole statement fail so it will not jump to the next cut predicate that's why you can see here for ax that is dx so that means the value of x here will come 4 I hope you have all cleared with what this cut and fail predicate is through this code snippet. So this is this is time to sign me off. So I'll be there for the next video for this. So thank you very much for watching this. And if you like my video then please click on the like button. And if you want to subscribe my channel then go through with the subscription of urmeshaiduel.com and even for more updates you can watch my or you can visit my blog that is urmishaiduo.blogspot.in thank you very much stay tuned with me for the small cool updates